Hi, I'm Elliot Miller, and welcome to this video tutorial from Decast. In this video, we're going to take a look at chroma key, or as it's more commonly known, green screen. What this will allow us to do is to remove the background from the video feed in our live stream, or in any other video production. This means I can appear as a separate layer over the top of whatever it is we're live streaming. However, it doesn't actually have to be green or even a screen necessarily. The important thing is that it's a nice, bold color that isn't being used in the rest of the shot. Now you can buy a green screen uh, for 15 to 25 to 35 dollars. You can even buy a full kit for maybe 100, even 200 dollars. But all you really need is that bold color. And so I've just gotten some green paper from a art store and I've sell tapes to the wall and it's been working quite well in my tests. So we're gonna see how it works in different encoders. So we're gonna take a look at chroma key in Wirecast, XSplit, OBS, and VMix. And we're gonna see how they compare. So let's get started with Wirecast. I've got my shot here from my uh, web camera. I'm gonna right click and go to edit shot. And then down here on the end, this little person is the chroma key configuration. So I'm gonna click this and I'm gonna click use chroma key. And there we are, it has removed the green as a background layer and cut me out so I'm just here. You can see the little squares um, of white and gray here to note that this is a transparent layer. And so if you look over in a wirecast preview area, you can see that it's just black because that's the background behind me. Now we have got a little bit of distortion here and that's probably caused by an uneven light. You can see I've got more light coming through the window onto my side of the face and less light over here. Definitely quite a few settings for having to play here to get the best effect in Wirecast, but still the quality looks pretty good. Okay, let's take a look at chroma key in XSplit now and see how it compares I've got my webcam video source, I'm going to right click and that's going to bring up this little menu and under the color tab I can choose chroma key. So let's move this over to the side so it's not blocking what we're looking at. Okay, so it's kind of blotchy, it doesn't look too good, we're getting a lot of variation here. Let me try adjusting my light and turning up the intensity. So we're increasing the light brightness now. And uh, still not a whole lot of difference. In fact, it's becoming clearer and easier to see the green screen. But what I can do is I can adjust this slider here. And there we go. So by turning it down from the default settings, we've got a much crisper green screen. Let's try clicking legacy mode and seeing if that improves the chroma key and XSplit. Looks pretty similar if we click reset make sure this is on the default settings. Okay, so we've got a little bit more of a green glow around my outer edge, and that's where the clipping is happening. So a little unfortunate there, but that seems to be happening. So we've got quite a lot of options here to play around with to try and find the right setting. In Wirecast, it was more a bit of a guessing game of the lights. I feel like I have more control in XSplit, even though if the final effect doesn't seem to be quite as good. However, if you are interested, you can get the TriDef Smart Cam, it's a third party paid for service that supposedly doesn't need a green screen in order to achieve the effect. It recognizes uh, your outer body and bases it on your movement. So I had a little play around with that when I had a free trial for it and it's variable quality. I think I would still want a green screen to help it behind me, but uh, definitely an interesting technology you can have a look at. Okay, let's see how our green screen fares in vMix. I've added my video source and I'm going to go to the settings option for it here. And now here I'm already on the color key tab and I'm going to click this uh, box to activate color key. And it gives me this little eyedropper tool here, uh, same that we had in XSplit, that will let me choose a color. It's going to take a screenshot here and I'm going to choose the color green in the background here. So let's Let's hit the auto chroma key button and see how that fares. Hmm, not terribly good. We've got quite a lot of this darker patch down here, 
not uh, changing. Let's try turning down my light and seeing how that fares. And now we've lost uh, a lot more of the uh, a lot more of the edges that were coming in, which is kind of interesting. It seems that we really want a nice. Uh, Whatever the light is, we want it to be even, not necessarily a big bright light shining on us. Let's see if we can adjust this a little bit more. There we go, by turning the chroma key filter up, uh, we've gotten a complete green screen, apart from just this slight little edge here. And like in XSplit, I'm losing a little bit of my hair around the edge as it's kind of, as the green is meeting my body. So that's not terribly good. Let's try adding the light again and seeing if that improves it at all. That's a pretty good, pretty strong green screen there. I've got less flickering around my hair and that might be the result of some brighter sunshine coming in through the window here. Okay, we're gonna take a look at OBS now and we're starting to see some of the difficulties in setting up a good green screen for your chroma key. Now that the sun is starting to set a little bit earlier than usual because winter is approaching, and I've got the shadow diagonally cutting across my green screen now. I'm gonna use my light, I'm gonna turn it up now. This is a pretty bright light I have here. I'm gonna see if we can even this out a little bit on its full brightness, but even that isn't quite enough to even out the shadows. So let's have a go with using a chroma key in OBS and see how it fares under these circumstances. So I'm gonna right click on the video source. I'm gonna to go to properties. And we're going to use chroma key. Now it will set to some kind of gray, so it's starting to remove the shadows on my face. So we're gonna click select. And like the eyedropper tool, we're just gonna select the green that we want. And it is seems to be struggling a little bit there as it's, you can see how clear this uh, shadow is and how much of a boarding that's, board that's creating. And I'm gonna start moving these sliders around and seeing if we can create a stronger effect. So there we go, I'm turning the similarity up and it's starting to cut out all the green. There we go, that's looking pretty good actually. We've got less biting at my hair than we were getting in vMix or XSplit. It's actually looking a lot like Wirecast. Um, Although, again, I've still got this quite profound green ring to uh, my hair. Uh, we appear to be getting a little bit of distortion down here in the very bottom left corner. Maybe if I adjust the blend, we can get rid of that. There we go. There we go. There's the webcam adjusting. This is looking pretty good. Uh, let it never be said that I'm not a total OBS fanboy, but I'm quite impressed. This is actually my first time using the chroma key in each of these uh, encoders because I wanted you to see my actual reactions and trying to gauge the situation as best I can. Let's add a little background source here. We'll click OK here. We'll add an image to go in the background. So there we are. There's me actually over a background source, and you're starting to see uh, the different effects that the green screen is capable of. And you can see the faint greenness, uh, the faint little crack there, but all in all, this is looking pretty good and I'm pretty happy with it. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial and happy streaming.